Greetings, everyone. I'm back again, back, back in the saddle of saddling and stuff. I have a box. It doesn't really fit on the camera screen. Yeah, it's it's large. But what's in there isn't that large, so I, I don't know why the box is so big. I just, I mean, I've been sitting here looking at this box, wondering why it's so large. Because what I ordered shouldn't be that large, I don't think. But anyway, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, so you get updated when I upload new videos. Like, drop a comment, helps with the algorithm, get my videos more views. I have an Instagram, you can follow me there. The uh, link to the Instagram is in the description of all of my videos. I also have a link in all my videos to a PayPal. So if you would like to contribute any amount to the channel, you can do so there. It's not a requirement. It's just a thing that's there if you choose to. You can still enjoy my videos just the same. Um, just figured I'd put it there, you know, in case somebody wanted to send a, a donation of whatever, you know, five cents, two cents. I, I don't, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but you don't have to. Anyway. Gotta clean the hands off here before we get, okay, let's get this open. I haven't tried to do one of these. Hey. All right, so this one's in there. I found this looking around on online. And I'm sorry about the glare on the plastic from this light. I can't, I could try moving it around like this. Like if I put it way over here, I don't know. You know, the lighting just, it's not that great. That's going to glare again. So I really can't do much about the little bit of glare, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm moving it all over the place. And I'm not getting... So, sorry about that. But, I always wanted something like this. You know, I always kind of thought Andy's toy chest was cool. And, you know, if I could buy like a real one for the collection, that would be cool. Uh, but you can't really find them. You could build one. And I've, I've thought about that, but I haven't done it yet. I don't know if I will. Maybe, maybe in a future video. Anyway, I found this, and I thought this was cool. I don't know when this came out, but it's a little, it's just a little, it's a little set um, with, you get Buzz, you get Slinky Dog, you get a Lenny, which is cool. It's a bigger size Lenny, too, which is neat um, compared and it's probably about the same size, I guess, as you get with the um, Adventure Woody Toy Story and Beyond Woody that I have a review up of, too. And then you get a, a Woody, too, and it comes in this really cool display box um, that looks like Andy's toy chest. And it says Andy's toy chest. It looks like they're peeking out of it. And uh, I just thought that would be really neat for the collection, so I'll just kind of zoom in on it here. And we've got Woody there with his um he's got a closed mouth smile too which is neat so you got a, a closed mouth smile woody i'll try that maybe i can get it better that light's just gonna keep glaring sorry anyway you've got a lenny first look lenny says right there on the box you've got slinky dog and you got buzz and then you just you got pictures of ham and rex back there but not, not an actual toy of them. You know, you've got the little wagon um, print out there on the front. So, that is pretty neat. Uh, I can't do much about the glare. I, I've tried, so I apologize for that. Right? You've even got the details here on the side uh, of, of the toy box. Got a closer up look of Lenny there. That must be a big selling point that there was Lenny in this set. <laughs> We've got the back here. And I thought this was smaller than this. I didn't realize it was this big. Um, and you've got 
Andy's imagination is unleashed when he opens his toy chest, creating exciting stories with his best friends. And then you've got that translated into other languages for reading, if you speak a different language. Made in China. It says Mattel Canada, though. But made in China. You got Woody down there sitting on the wheel spoke or something. I don't know what he's doing. Come to the hat. There's a hat in there. <gasps> My camera fell. Oh, no. There you got Buzz. Is Buzz fully painted? Is he fully painted? It looks like he's painted very similar to Half Done Buzz. Lame. In fact, he may be painted exactly the same as Half Done Buzz. Paint the entire light year, for the love of God. Okay. Now you've got some little doodads on the boxy box there. It says, Contendudo for Figueroa's one accessorio. Figures may not stand as shown, each sold separately. Subject to availability. Figures may not stand as shown. Well, that's lame. What if I want to stand them as shown and they won't stand and, this, and the figures aren't painted right? Like Buzz. Is that, is there, why can't they finish painting Buzz? Why, why? Why doesn't he have a glow paint? Why doesn't he have wings? I mean, I mean, I guess I get having little Buzz figures that, you know, they can't have everything in them. But, I mean, come on. Finish painting him. Use glow paint. Buzz glows in the dark. He glows in the dark. You know? Uh, I mean, not very many buzzes glow in the dark, and he's supposed to glow in the dark. That's like a big deal about Buzz Lightyear. I don't know. So many kids, I'm sure, who've got Buzz Lightyears, and, you know, they're all excited. Oh, my God, he's going to glow in the dark, and then they go in a dark room, and he's not glowing. You know, I mean, I mean, back in the day, when they made these guys, they glow in the dark. Cause they're supposed to. They couldn't get the wings right, you know. And then, you know, movie accuracy is kind of eh, you know. And there's some paint spots that should be painted, like on the hand stuff that are missing. But he glow in the dark at least, you know. I mean, there's, I mean, Buzz Lightyear is probably the most messed up toy like there's there's something off from the movie buzz lightyear on every single real world buzz lightyear it's like impossible for them to make a hundred percent movie accurate buzz lightyear it's like it's not doable and one of the easiest things that they could do to the buzz is put ball joints on the wrists i mean that's like gi joes have ball joints on the wrists i mean it's it, is it that dangerous to put ball joints on the wrists in a Buzz Lightyear? Is that like a safety concern? Or why are there no ball joints on Buzz Lightyear? I mean, even the Signature Collection doesn't have ball joints on the wrists. And it's, uh, why? I mean, come on. I mean, you, you know, try harder. <laughs> I mean, the companies that make these make a bunch of money, obviously. They can put out a good Buzz Lightyear with ball joint wrist, you know, I mean, I think they could do the wings better than what they are, I don't know if they could be exactly movie accurate, that would be really cool, not sure if it's feasible, um, because they are extremely long, they're actually different lengths in the movie scenes, but I'm not gonna, you know, I kind of got into that in another previous video, if you want to go check that out, I can't remember what it's called, but I'm comparing movie stills and signature collection does that or something. Um, but they're good, you know, they're different lengths. Anyway, I'm not going to ram, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep rambling about this forever. You know, I just, ever since I saw that movie when I was a young child, I wanted a exact movie accurate Buzz Lightyear. And I still don't have one. You know, I mean, there's some that are close-ish, 
my favorite one is the just the um, the cloud box uh, digital data talking to like here. I actually love, prefer that one over the signature. Uh, it's because I, I don't know. I feel like it's more movie accurate for some reason. The one that I have that I have open, I really like the wings on it because they're super straight. So because they pop out so straight, they give a lot lot lengthier look to them. And I, I just like that because like, the wings on Buzz Lightyear were always the thing. I was like, oh, my God, that's so cool. I have to get one of those, you know. And then I, I get one of these guys when I'm little, and I pop them bad boys out thinking, oh, yeah, impressive wingspan. And it's like uh, setting me up for disappointment. Or I mean, what, what? I mean, you know, there's other jokes I can make about that, but I won't do it. Um, anyway, you know, I mean, it's just like it's just it's just disappointing. It's like, you know. You know, so. And then over here at Disney Store, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm just going off here on stuff that doesn't matter about Buzz Lightyear and his wings. You know, the fully retractable helmet, that would be cool. I'd rather have spot on movie accurate wings. Low paint. Don't need the head motor and stuff that was in the, in the signature. I mean, that's, you know, it's neat, but I, I don't, it's, yeah. It's whatever for me. I don't see the need for that, really. But uh, yeah, I want a I want a Buzz Lightyear like that guy, exactly like that guy, to the letter. I mean, come on, 2023. We can do it. We have the technology. Remains to be seen. I can even do it without the karate chop action, actually, because, yeah, but whatever. Anyway, this is a new addition to the collection. That is today's video. I'm not going to open it because it's a collectible, and I'm going to collect it in the box. I'm going to be having another very interesting thing that you probably have never seen before. I know I have it to review in the coming days which will also be up so hope you enjoyed the review thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video